Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Micah David. I'm a filmmaker and photographer here based in Las Vegas. Hey, if you're ever here, let me know. We can work on something together. Photo Lab 8, Nick Collection 7. Just gonna put it out there. Here, here's what we're dealing with. DxO, you may or may not have heard of them. They may or may not have reached out to me. But for right now, let's just focus on Photolab 8. We got a lot to get to in this category. You know, I hate it when teachers say that. So what is Photolab 8? Photolab 8 is a leader at an advanced editing software that is well known amongst professional photographers like myself. Now, before we continue, I just have to ask, just make sure I'm getting through proper precautions and everything. Um, does Adobe know you're watching this video? Huh? I I'm just asking, I'm just asking. You guys know that I use Adobe Lightroom a lot. And now I have the pleasure of introducing this new editing software to you guys. They have powerful AI tools for image enhancement. They're actually industry leading at raw processing and noise reduction. Photolab 8 has the best noise reduction I've seen. For me, it just kind of seems like the real deal. You know, you want noise reduction, Photolab 8 is the place to go. They have a customizable and non-destructive workspace so you can mess around with it ultimately to improve your workflow as a editor photographer and they have smart auto corrections with their optics modules this isn't just some knockoff company coming out of nowhere and one thing to note before i go on i just think this is just another fact that we should all keep in consideration is that there's a one-time payment for this app one-time payment of 230 dollars I'm gonna go over stuff I think is pretty cool from Photolab 8. Okay, let's let's get to it. So I recently took photos for the sushi place called Sushi Mon. Uh, fun experience, very fun experience. And these are some of the photos I came out with. Like I said before in the intro, a customizable workspace. So what I mean by that is we go over here. Right, we have these different tabs. You press here for these tabs. We can turn these on, we can turn this on and everything. Um, oh dang, that's did something, huh, nice. And let's say we only wanna have some of them. Like these are the ones that I mainly use. I wanna only keep these on my workspace. We can go to the right here and there'll be a star. You can click the star here, click the star here, click the star there and then top right when you're done, just click the star and it'll all be your star things, you know, the main items that you work with. We can also choose things like white balance and HSL, things from other tabs, aside from this exposure one. And we can click this and it'll pop up here. If we click the exposure, it'll only pop up the main exposure settings that we mainly use. Click the color, it'll only pop up the main color settings that we mainly use. Another thing is, I said it before, when you first download DxO or first working on an image, they download what you call modules or DxO's modules. DxO has 40,000 camera lens modules that they perfect in house. Whatever camera combination you're using, whatever camera you're using, whatever lens you're using, they probably tested that combination in house. And they do this so they can correct it, any distortion, any vignetting, any uh, uh, chromatic aberration. So they give you an option of how would you like them to correct your photos, your raw photos? Would you like them to do no corrections at all? Only a, a camera correction? Or would you like them to like, pretty much almost edit the whole thing. Make sure it's a natural style and everything's kind of improved. Do like an auto edit to it. I can see myself probably using the optical corrections. Here's something else that is unique to Photolab 8. It's called DxO Smart Lighting. What Smart Lighting does, and instead of darkening your shadows and raising your highlights, what it actually does is it extends your dynamic range. If we're going to Smart Lighting, we're gonna actually enhance the dynamic range. We're gonna raise it. See? And it raises those shadows and it just makes everything kind of pop a bit more. What it pretty much does is says, hey, your shadows are too dark, your highlights are blown out, let me fix that without messing up everything else. Contrast doesn't care what it's affecting, it just does it. Smart lighting though, it's smart, you know? It looks at your image and says, let me adjust this, let me adjust that, without breaking the image, it makes certain decisions. And the intensity bar, what they're saying is like, here's my input, now how far do you want me to go with it? Contrast just cranks the difference. Smart lighting makes decisions. You like that? I, I got more where that came from. Contrast goes hard, no regard. Smart lighting plays it smart and hits the mark. Contrast pushes, smart lighting listens. Fixing those shadows, 
the camera's missing. Mm. Spitting. Local adjustments is kind of like masking, but it does it in different ways uh, than you may be familiar with. So we go here and we use what's called a control point. We put the control point and we're just gonna put it, uh, let's say right here on our skin. And we're gonna select how much we're gonna be selecting here. Where we put the control point is a reference. And once we bring it out, it's gonna choose other parts of the image that is like the reference control point. And then we can also see black and white to see what it's really selecting here. You know, we go in, selecting her skin, bring it out, you know, whatever. This image kind of looks scary. But we can also do a hue control point or a control line. We got a hue mask, which it selects everything that is alike to the hue. So we can feather it in, feather it out, and we're just selecting everything that looks like that specific hue that I selected. Okay, so now here's one of my favorite, favorite features about Photolab 8, which is Deep Prime XD2S. This is DxO's uh, latest installment of Deep Prime. Pretty much what Deep Prime is, it's noise reduction. So we're gonna go here to the Detail tab. We can see Deep Prime, Deep Prime XD, XD2S, and Prime. It's important to note that it doesn't just reduce the noise, it also brings back information that you didn't know was there in the first place. So it actually restores the texture, the fine detail. So usually noise reduction takes a lot of CPU power. The way I'm going to reduce and reserve my CPU power for this noise reduction process or engine, I'm going to actually activate what's called the loop tool. The loop tool allows us to preview things like Deep Prime and see what it looks like before applying it to the whole image. So an important thing to know is that Deep Prime only works on raw photos or NEF or anything that's a raw file. If you're on JPEG or a TIFF file, Deep Prime would be grayed out. Okay, so now we have the loop tool here. We can see all that grain on this building here and on the uh, this large statue here and everywhere here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here and we're just gonna activate Deep Prime XD. Dude, that's actually... <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? No, I, I was, that was my first time doing it. I never tried this before. So actually seeing it here, it is actually pretty cool. I'm pretty sure once you export the photo, that's when you're gonna see the noise reduction. Otherwise, you can always view the noise reduction on this loop tool here, uh, which is pretty cool. It saves you power. It saves it to the last portion of your editing, which I think is really cool. All right. Okay. Um... Okay, finally, let's dive into Nick Collection 7. It's a collection of different apps that allows you to apply different filters. Now, the thing with these apps is I'm pretty sure you're only able to edit them with JPEG or TIFF files. So the Nick Collection is kind of for something as like an add-on to the finished project. This also comes as a plugin, so you can use this as a plugin on Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Photoshop or even Photolab 8, of course, or you can use it as a standalone app as now, I am, as I am now. So the first app we're gonna be using is called the Visa. Visa? Visa? Uh, one of the two. It allows you to adjust the brightness, the contrast, those type of things using viewpoint technology. So pretty much it's just the typical global adjustments, the regular adjustments that you'll see in any other editing app, but with just a couple more things. Like we have brightness here, we can brighten up the image, uh, saturation, we can add some structure to it. So like I said, the Visa takes it a tad bit forward. This is something you would use to add some finishing touches to your final edit. Okay, we have the same image here. Now we're gonna be diving into silver effects. What silver effects is, it allows you to have like kind of the master control of black and white images. So once you finish editing them and Photo Lab 8, uh, you do this, you do that, you adjust this point, you adjust that point. Now it's time for you to add the black and white. This is when you'll take it into Silver FX. Silver FX has the most controls I've seen over a black and white image. On the left, we have a whole bunch of categories of different filters that we can add. So I'm clicking around and we can have an option here to go to all the Nick uh, filters. That's why it says all Nick. It has all the filters here from all the, uh, uh, all the Nick collection apps. Now in terms of the Silver effects, we have different effects here, dynamic brightness, uh, amplify whites, amplify blacks, a soft contrast right here. So we can add like a softer contrast and a regular contrast. 
add more structure, some fine structure, shadows and highlights. So pretty much what I think, everything you could think of in terms of editing black and white images. The last one that I wanna show you guys is Nick Collection Color Effects. Now it's in the name. This one allows it to go deeper and deeper into the color controls of an image. Creative color grading, mood shifts, film style effects, custom enhancements, all the different types of things when it comes to color, enhancing that color is in color effects. So you can add different filters from different apps in the Nick Collection into you know one app, if you know what I mean. This is all like final, effects that you're adding onto your image in the final image and there's just different apps for a different set of filters or effects that you can add onto your image. We have the analog effects. This allows you to simulate old school cameras, film, and vintage photography. So if you, I know some people might be into that. So you're able to get things like a 90s look and add it onto your image or an 80s look and add it onto your image. So it's pretty so it's pretty cool. There's HDR effects, of course, creating a higher dynamic range of an image. There is Define, which is noise reduction. You're just reducing that noise in the Define app. It's simpler than DxO's Deep Prime, but it's good for quick noise cleanup. And there's also a pre-sharpener and sharpener output in the Nick collection. This allows you to sharpen photos for display for like something like printing. So the raw pre-sharpener allows you to sharpen up your image before going into editing. So that's the one that you would use for raw images. When you're getting ready to export the image and getting ready to print it out and everything, then you will put it into the outport sharpener and that will allow you to sharpen it thin and get it ready for that printing or whatever you're about to do with it. So Nick Collection 7 has a whole bunch of different capabilities that you may be even able to use. Dude, I mess that up every single time. And I want to iterate my strong belief in being authentic to you guys when it comes to promoting stuff like this. As you guys may or may not know, this is my first collaboration video with another company company. Woohoo. Thank you to DxO for being the first. But I say all that to say I want to make sure what I'm promoting aligns with what you guys may want from my channel. The objective of my channel is to inform and educate and inspire you guys to making it easier for you to get into the filmmaking world or photography world. You know, if I didn't care about the authenticity of my videos and what I'm promoting, you guys would have been seeing a video about a surge protector. I actually did respond to them so I can get a collaboration under my belt, but at least I didn't follow up with them. I said before that Photolab 8 is for $230 for a one-time fee, but if you use the code MICA15, M-I-C-A-H-1-5, you will get a 15% discount code and you'll get it for $193. 95, $195.50 until June 30th. Dude, that sound is so much more cooler than I expected. Oh, that's sick. I'm gonna put that everywhere. Micah 15 discount code on Photolab 8. Micah 15. And hey, if this video does well, I'll ask them if we can extend it. But anyway, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Again, my name is Micah David. I am a filmmaker and photographer. Uh, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one. It won't be too far, I promise, hopefully. Okay, let's, let's get to it. What are you still doing over there? Come over here. We're gonna get started on this.